Hi, Robert here. Have you ever been away from home but need access to files on a home PC, a media server, or check on security cameras that you don't normally have internet access to? Or you're in another country but you'd like to catch up with programs on your favourite on-demand streaming service? If you answered yes to any of these, then you need a VPN service. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up VPN on PFSense 2.5.1 and how to connect this VPN service with your mobile phone, tablet or PC. PFSense supports three different types of VPN connection, IPsec, L2TP and OpenVPN. Today I'll be configuring an OpenVPN server with authentication done using username, password and an SSL or TLS certificate. This is one of the most basic and easiest ways to set up a VPN connection into your home network. So, if you're ready, let's get started. So log into the PFSense interface. The default IP address is 192.168.1.1. And then go to System, Search Manager, under CAs, click on the green Add button, give it a descriptive name, Method, create an internal certificate authority, everything else here can stay the same, apart from the common name we'll change that to pfsense-ca, country code in my case it's GB, enter your state and your city and your organization. And then click save. Next go to certificates, click on add sign method is create an internal certificate. The descriptive name we'll call OpenVPN hyphen server. The certificate authority is PFSense. Everything else here can stay the same. Common name we'll also call OpenVPN hyphen server. Again, all these details can stay the same apart from this one here certificate type. We need to change that from user certificate to server certificate and then click Save. Now back up to System and User Manager. Under Users, click on the green Add button, choose a username, and then choose a password, and repeat that password, and enter the user's name. All this can stay the same apart from this item here. So certificate, click on the checkbox that says click to create a user certificate. The descriptive name, we'll also call that Joe Blogs. Leave all these details the same and click save. Next we go back to system and then package manager. Click on available packages then type in open VPN and click the blue search button. Under the packages you'll see open VPN client export. Click on the green install button and then the green confirm button. As most home broadband connections are assigned a dynamic IP address, to make sure that we can always connect up to our PFSense box, we'll sign up with a free dynamic DNS service. This means that we can connect up using a domain name that will always have the IP address associated with our PFSense box updated whenever it changes. So go to noip.com forward slash free to sign up for an account. Once you've set up your account, return to PFSense to continue the setup. Next we need to go to the Services tab 
and then down to Dynamic DNS. Click on the green Add button and under the service type choose No IP Free. Interface to monitor is the WAN interface. The host name is the name that you set up on noip.com and then enter your noip.com username and password and repeat that password. And enter a description if you wish and then click save. So here you can see the host name and the IP address that that host name is tied to. And this will be updated whenever the IP address changes. Now go to the VPN tab and select Open VPN. Click on Client Export. The remote Access Server can stay as it is, as it's the only one that we've got. Hostname Resolution, change this from the interface IP address to the domain that you set up on noip.com. Click on Block Outside DNS, so all DNS queries go through your VPN connection. And then you go down to the client, so we've got Joe Blogs here, so we're going to select the Open VPN connection, which will be used on an Android phone. Next we need to scroll to the top of the page, back to the home page, and then on the uh, status dashboard, click on the plus sign and go to Open VPN and click on that. You will then see this VPN option here. What this will do is when you connect it with your phone, tablet, PC, you will see the connection here. Now that we've created the configuration file, we need to get it copied across to the phone, tablet or PC. There's various different ways of doing this, but for simplicity and for this tutorial, I'm just going to email the file to myself this isn't best practice as far as a security point of view, but as I say, this is purely for this tutorial. So if you just go into your email program, just put in the email address of the person that you want to send the file to, which is likely to be yourself. Stick in a subject. and then attach the configuration file and send it. Now on your mobile device, go into your email, go to the email with the configuration file and download the configuration file. Next, go to the Google Play Store and search for Open VPN. and then click install. Once installed, click on open. You've got the Open VPN Inc data collection use and retention policy. So if you scroll down and then click agree, Next, go to the option that says File. When it asks, allow OpenVPN Connect to access photos, media and files on your device. Click Allow. And then go to Downloads, highlight the OVPN configuration file and click Import. Next, enter the username for the VPN connection. and click Add. Then click the switch to connect to VPN and enter the password. You'll get a connection request. OpenVPN wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic. Only accept if you trust the source. So click OK.
and then the VPN connection is active. If we just scroll down a little, you can see the user is you, and it's Joe Blogs in this case. Your private IP address is the IP address that's assigned to the VPN connection. The server is the, the DNS name to your external IP address of your PFSense router. And the external IP address is the actual address. As you can see, when this is connected, you can then see it on the PFSense dashboard and you can see when it's connected. So if we just disconnect now, and then after a few seconds, you'll see it disappear from the dashboard on PFSense. Okay, that's it. This is pretty much the most basic form of OpenVPN connection, but it will let you access your home resources and allow you to tunnel through your home network so you can appear as if you are at home even when you are abroad, which is necessary for some streaming services. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new content. Until next time, thanks for watching.